This is the derivation of the area formula for a kite. A kite is a quadrilateral that has two sets of consecutive sides congruent, but opposite sides are not congruent. Um, you can find the area of a kite lots of ways. Um, one thing you should recognize is that a kite <coughs> has two diagonals. Let that be diagonal one. And this be diagonal two. And when you draw the two diagonals in, um, these intersect at a right angle, these are perpendicular. So you have four right triangles. So you can find the area of the kite by adding the area of these four triangles together. You can calculate each of these by using one half base times height. Um, so, if you know the lengths of the diagonals, you can find the length, or you can find the area of the kite. One thing you should notice is that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD by side side side. Uh, BC and uh, BA are congruent, CD and AD are congruent, and they both share side DB. Uh, DB is congruent to itself by the reflexive property. So by side, 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 these two triangles are congruent. So all you really need to do is find the area of one of these triangles and then double it. So let's focus on that. Let's call the length BD equal to uh, D1, diagonal 1. So BD has length D1. And AC has length D2. So then let's find the area of triangle BCD. What does that equal? That's one half base times height. The base is BD, which is D1. And the height is the length of this altitude here. Now, how, how long is that segment? Well, that's one-half of AC, so it's one-half of D2. One-half D2. And so, D1 is the base, and one-half D2 is the height. So the area of this triangle, triangle BCD, is one-half D1 times one-half D2. Now, what's the area of the kite? Well, the area of the kite is twice this. It's two times that. So area of the kite is 2 times the area of this triangle BCD, which is 2 times 1 half D1 times 1 half D2. So this 2 and this 1 half cancel, and I'm left with the area formula for a kite, which is 1 half D1 times D2. If you know the lengths of the diagonals, you can find the area of the kite quite simply by using this formula. There are other ways to do it by finding the areas of, of each of these regions and adding them together, uh, but this is an, a nice, clean, concise formula to find the area of a kite.